Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton berated Republican Donald Trump for being too friendly with North Korea and too harsh on European allies in a foreign policy speech aimed at portraying the billionaire businessman as unfit for the White House. Donald Trump's ideas aren't just different. They are dangerously incoherent. They're not even really ideas, just a series of bizarre rants, personal feuds, and outright lies. He is not just unprepared. He is temperamentally unfit to hold an office that requires knowledge, stability, and immense responsibility. And I have to say, I don't understand Donald's bizarre fascination with dictators and strongmen who have no love for America. He praised China for the Tiananmen Square massacre. He said it showed strength. He said, you've got to give Kim Jong-un credit for taking over North Korea, something he did by murdering everyone he saw as a threat, including his own uncle, which Donald described gleefully like he was recapping an action movie. And he said if he were grading Vladimir Putin as a leader, he'd give him an A. Now, I will leave it to the psychiatrist to explain his affection for tyrants. Now, Trump, who has never held elected office, has talked tough on foreign policy. He embraced the use of waterboarding and other brutal interrogation techniques for terrorism suspects and vowed to renegotiate trade deals and ask members of the 28th nation NATO alliance to pay up or get out. Now imagine Donald Trump sitting in the Situation Room <laughs> making life or death decisions on behalf of the United States. Imagine him deciding whether to send your spouses or children into battle. Imagine if he had not just his Twitter account at his disposal when he's angry, but America's entire arsenal. Do we want him making those calls, someone thin-skinned and quick to anger who lashes out at the smallest criticism? Do we want his finger anywhere near the button? No. Well, I have a lot of faith that the American people will make the right decision. This is a country with a deep reservoir of common sense and national pride. And we're all counting on that. Because making Donald Trump our commander in chief would be a historic mistake. Meanwhile, U.S. Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump hit back at Democratic rival Hillary Clinton. Listen to this. I mean, I watched Hillary today. It was pathetic. It was pathetic. It was so sad to watch. And, you know, she's up there and supposed to be a foreign policy speech. It was a political speech. Had nothing to do with foreign policy. The New York billionaire also said Clinton was guilty for using a private email server without approval for her work as U.S. Secretary of State. Remember Hillary Clinton used to hate Obama. She used to hate him. Bill Clinton hated him. Bill Clinton hated him. He called Bill Clinton a racist. Do you remember that? Bill Clinton hated him. And Hillary Clinton hated Obama. Now it's, yes, sir, Mr. President, sir. Yes, sir. What would you like? What would you like me to say here, sir? The only reason she's behaving like this and the only reason she's been dragged so far left, believe me, is she doesn't want to go to jail over the emails, okay? Believe me. That's the only reason. One simple reason. Because you know what, folks? I used to say, leave it up to the lawyers. I have watched so many lawyers on so many different networks. I have read so much about the emails. Folks, honestly, she's guilty as She's guilty as I watched Hillary's thing today, which was hard. It was like 
It's like taking Salmonex. To watch her is like Salmonex. You ever hear Salmonex? Sleep all night. Bing. It's hard to stay awake when, you know, I'm not a big sleeper. I think she could make more money if she made speeches and sold them for people that can't sleep. It was hard. But she lies so much. 